This video is on pleasure centering, also known as attachment centering or grasping centering. So um, centering, self-regulation techniques involving the body, um, have been used for a long time around the fight flight or the fight flight freeze response. Great, super helpful. What I noticed, however, is that that's only half of the problems I have in my life. Yeah, stressed, we could say, getting irritable, getting anxious, that's all fight flight stuff. Super useful to use centering around that. Um, because centering was mostly developed by martial arts teachers, that's traditionally been centering um, in the martial arts. You know, you're getting attacked, you're working with fight flight. However, there's all, the other side of things that screws us up in life is what we like. That's a bit counterintuitive. You might say, well, I like something, that's not a problem. Well, what does the problem come from? Mm, the problem comes from trying to get it, all right, when it's not always appropriate, trying to not lose it when you've got it, or being despairing when you've lost it. So this is basic kind of Buddhist theory, yeah? There's a desire, tanha, in the, desire is actually a bad translation, grasping is a better translation. I like this English translation because it, grasping is both trying to get something, like, ah, the iPhone, yeah? Check my messages, that's the normal grasping that comes up whenever I even see in my phone, all right? And then there's, I don't want to lose it, yeah? Or there's the, oh, I just dropped it and smashed my iPhone, shit. <laughs> like grasping after the thing that's gone or that's been broken, yeah? So, um, good example actually, iPhones. Most people have some sort of grasping with their phone. Grasping ruins pleasure and causes problems. As someone who's long-term sober, I'm 11 years sober, let me tell you, uh, pleasure can really fuck you up. <laughs> it uh, can really cause some problems and lead to some very unfun things. So this is well worth looking at as a human being. Centering applies exactly the same. This is the good news. So because the grasping response is almost identical to fight flight, it's a tension, uh, turning away a contraction usually, uh, an off-balancing towards actually rather than turning away usually. It's the same basic response. Um, don't believe me. So look for something you like. Sometimes we use pictures for this. You can use the internet for this, yeah. Um, you work with your phone, that's a very common, work, easy one for people. Uh, food is another one you can work with if you don't have particular triggers there, I would say. Most of us have some rah, factor with food, um, particularly if you're hungry. Um, noticing the difference between a healthy wanting, like, oh, I'm hungry, I wanna go get that food. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna go get lunch in a bit, yeah. And, and that contraction and the off balance that comes um, from craving and literally I'll feel it in my feet as my heels light and I go forwards towards the thing. Some people will go away from what they want, a bit of an unusual pattern, Paul Linden identified, but most people it will be an off balancing towards and the tension. Another inquiry around this is if you're eating something for example and this you know can be done in sexual ways as well is can I actually enjoy this more by relaxing around it as opposed to that tension, that clinging, that gotta have it addict type quality. Um, ways to train this can be very simple things like turning towards and away from something you like or dislike noticing that in your body. What happens when you turn away from the thing you like and is that, eh, oh, I might want to see it. Yeah. Working with food, working with sexuality, uh, pictures we use on EFC is a little harder to calibrate than um, uh, working with aversion, working with fight flight. So I'd say it's in some ways more challenging because there's a subtle quality to it sometimes. However, well worth exploring. Um, same techniques work, the same relaxing and balancing of the body because essentially, you know, you're off balance, you're tense. That's, that's what happens there. There's a few other variations, but they're the main ones. Okay, so pleasure centering. I hope that's a nice addition to your centering repertoire. Um, and realizing that bringing equanimity to what you want, what you're desiring particularly, um, it doesn't mean you can't have what you want. In fact, it means you can enjoy life much, much more.